Now the men's 100 meters T53. The reigning European and Paralympic champion is in this. Mickey Bushel. Brent Lakatos is the world record holder. Three golds in the last World Championships. It's another terrific field. Pierre Fairbank has a huge amount of success in his career. He's been winning major championship gold since the 1998 Worlds in Birmingham. Lane one, Brian Seaman for the United States, fourth in the 400 and the 800 final in the World Championships in Doha, based in Illinois. Lane two for China, Li Yuzhan, the former World and Asian Games champion, won this 100 meters in Christchurch in 2011. Two goals all the same in Doha. Lane three, three goals, the one, the two and the eight in Doha, the World Championships 2015. Won the one, the four, and the eight of the Para Pan Ams in Toronto last year. That's Brent Lakatos. Lane four for France, Pierre Fairbank. Gold in the two and the eight of the Europeans 2014. Bronze in the eight, the one, and the four by four in the Worlds in Doha. For Brazil, Alisvaldo Silva. One is he. One is semi final, got a Paralympic record. Bronze in the 100 meters in 2013 at the Worlds. Lane six for Thailand, Ponsa and Payo, silver in the two and the four by four, bronze in the four in the World Championships in Doha. Here is the reigning European and Paralympic Games champion for Great Britain. It's Mickey Bushel. And in lane eight for Saudi Arabia, fifth in the 100 meters final at the World Championships in Doha, fourth in the previous World Championships in Lyon, it's Fahad El Idol. Brilliant quality again right across this field. So it's Seaman in one, Lee in two, Lakatos in three, Fairbank four, Silva five, Peo six, Bushel seven, Algonidal in lane eight. The final of the men's 100 meters, T53. And away they go, and away Lakatos goes. Fairbank right alongside, but Lakatos is fine, perfectly hit for Canada. He's well ahead of the rest. He's going to be the Paralympic Games champion. Oh, Canada's Brent Lakatos, 14 44. Hundredth of a second outside his Paralympic Games record from the semi final. And it may be rounded down. Lakatos gets the goal. Pio, the silver for Thailand in 14.80 and Lee the bronze for China but Brett Lakatos hits the golden moment for Canada it was a very even start Lakatos had to wait about uh, 25 meters before he could establish some kind of dominance over Li Hu Zhao on his left and then Peo of Thailand started to make a move but it was by a length and a half that uh, Brent Lakatos got to the line so it'll be gold for Brent Lakatos and his wife Steph Reed has already had a silver medal in the long jump so a pretty good day for that couple and an especially good one for Canada's Brent Lakatos brilliant success for the Canadian his first Paralympic gold. Two very swift times for him today. 14.43 in the semi final. 14.44 today. He just watch as the front wheel lifts in the early pushing. How important it is to keep the, the chair on track. Drift out of the lane and there's trouble for you. And look at the acceleration from Brent Lakatos as he eases away from the field. Turns to have a look at the time. Even had the luxury of uh, sitting up towards the end. His fourth Paralympic Games, his first Paralympic gold. Three silvers previously in London, but now he will be top of the podium.
And he will fill top of the world. Brent Nakados wins 14 44. Payo with the silver for Thailand and Lee the bronze for China.